Welcome to In the Spotlight, a chance to get to know the financial services practice group team at Barry Dunn. I'm Susan Weber. And I'm Brooke Wells fellow team members and hosts of the series. We're joined today by Jillian Santamaria, manager in our tax practice group. Welcome, Jillian. Hi, thank you for having me. Good to have you here. And to kick us off today, just tell us how you got into the profession. Did you always want to be a tax professional? Well, doesn't everybody? I think so. (laughs) (laughs) I think there's a small population of us, but uh, no, I, you know, I kind of say for some, they chose the accounting life and for others, the accounting life chose them. Um, I think I fall into the latter. I, I really didn't know what I was going to do after high school. Um, I, I was definitely an academic kid. I excelled in many topics, which honestly just made it harder to decide on what college or major I wanted to go into. Um, and one day my dad said, be an accountant. And so I thought, okay, like that's numbers. I've always liked (laughs) math. Um, Sure, I'll start there. And that's what landed me, at least in the business school at the University of New Hampshire. You know, and from there, I just kind of felt like a lot of the same. You have to take every introduction class. And so, you know, I did well in economics and I did well in information systems and I did well in accounting. And, you know, every every professor was trying to kind of convince you to come into their major. And, you know, accounting won. (laughs) That's (laughs) all I had it. I had a great professor and uh, he he is, I guess, very convincing. So, you know, I stayed for a fifth year at UNH um, and got my master's in accounting. And that same professors who helped me kind of convince myself that I needed to do a winter internship so that I could get some tax experience. and and that's how I landed that Barry Dunn. And it it's it continues, you know, this the the saga continues there. It's you know, the back then I feel like the recruiting um wasn't so competitive. I always mm-hmm. joke that I wouldn't I wouldn't make the cut these days. Um because <laughs> <laughs> I actually missed the interview sign up day. You're kidding. <laughs> so, Nope. I I <laughs> so wanted to interview at Barry Dunn and we had gotten new software uh, for recruiting at school and I didn't realize that I didn't wouldn't get a notification for an interview. And so I absolutely missed the sign up. Fortunately, uh, Sarah Olson, our recruiting lead of recruiting, um, reached out and said, hey, I noticed your name wasn't on the list. Did something happen? Like, did you already accept a position? I said, no, nope, that's just human error right there. I missed the sign up. And so I fortunately got pulled into an opportunity to come into our Manchester office and interview and um, landed somehow an internship, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which, you know, led right into an offer um, after a summer audit internship. Actually, my offer came through on the audit side. Um, and then eventually they kind of swindled me over into tax where where I've been now for eight years. So definitely happy, like I said, that the accounting life chose me and that the Barry Dunn life chose me. Um, so I've been been in our tax department for eight years. That's great. Well, you know, it, it strikes me as I was listening to you talk, you're a real renaissance woman. I love that, you know, that you could have really um, been and dabbled in a lot of different things and that you really sort of honed and, and chose this and and probably a good commentary on having some real strong mentors and people who are willing to reach out and, and help guide. So there's a lot in that story that I just love. So thank you for sharing <laughs> that with us today, Julie. And that was great. Jillian, it really sounded like you fell into accounting, but outside of that, what would you consider some of your favorite hobbies? Um, You know, I I don't have a good hobby list outside of like the travel and culture. Um, I love to eat. Uh, My husband and I share that. (laughs) (laughs) You know, the way through to my heart is through my stomach. Um, Love to eat and travel. So, uh, my husband and I do like we share that passion. We actually uh, graduated from our master's program at UNH the same day. It was a Saturday. We moved out of our apartment on a Sunday, and on Monday we loaded up a, a new Toyota Corolla uh, with all of what we could <laughs> pack uh, for an eleven-week cross-country road trip. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and we, we returned home, I think, literally like the Friday before starting first days at our careers. Um, so we were gone all summer. I think we crossed through 37 states 
and somehow still came back liking each other. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> That's really amazing. I love that. Okay, so shifting gears um, out of food and back to tax, or maybe not, it depends on what you say. Um, is there any sort of specialty that you have in the tax arena, any sort of um, special focus of of the work that you do that, that you really like? Yeah, so I think what's, that's also kind of what's neat about tax is, you know, uh, we can work on quite a variety um, while still kind of niching in a few different areas. So outside of the financial services group, um, I land completely on the other side with partnerships and pass through tax. Uh, and one of my focuses there is the low income housing partnership mm -hmm. arena. And so it's kind of neat to be on that side, uh, pairing with the financial institution tax work that I do, because many of our Financial institutions invest um, in these community housing projects. Uh, they're great investments, like I said, for the community, but also who can resist the tax credit incentive. Um, so it's like I said, it's neat to just kind of be in both aspects of that where we you know from a bank's perspective, we're on like the lending investor um, mindset. And then on the, the, you know, my partnership tax side, that's just the housing project operation. So kind of seeing it full circle and being able to kind of make tax decisions or advise on tax decisions for both parties that kind of are a win-win situation on both sides is, is really interesting for me. I love that. That's great. So I know you really enjoy the tax stuff and I, honestly you can do my taxes anytime <laughs> um, but outside of that I know that you really like staff development could you tell us a little bit of some of your projects that you've recently been working on I think I've always fell into that kind of coaching mentoring role pretty naturally I just I love watching that light bulb click and and helping people like gain confidence um, in just learning something new uh, so I love doing that internally with our staff, uh, but also externally, um, you know, many of our clients have now seen our tax provision template. We've tried to make it this very automated, um, formula driven, you know, reduce the need of inputs and in and, and multiple touches. Um, so we've built out this product that I think we've been able to share with many of our banks and, you know, hopefully everyone feels that there's some some enjoyment in their tax provision preparation now. But that was something we did, you know, a year or two ago. And I've really enjoyed working with our banks more closely to to, you know, gain that um, that confidence, like I said, and and understanding and, you know, trying to make taxes a little less scary, um, you know, a little more approachable. Perfect. Well, that sounds so great. And it was so much fun getting to shine the spotlight on you today. Before we go, I have a quick accounting joke. Are you ready? We're always ready. <laughs> <laughs> all she right. doesn't sound at all enthusiastic, <laughs> does she, Brooke? <laughs> no, Lay it on us. <laughs> all right. Why was the seafood restaurant being investigated by the IRS? They were suspected of being a shell company and something fishy. <laughs> there you go. All I could think of was shrimp, and I was like, shrimp doesn't sound like accounting. <laughs> so close, so close. <laughs> Circling back to the food. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Well, on that note, thanks everyone for joining us today, and be on the lookout for more of your favorite professionals in the spotlight.